Well, as the IndyCar season winds down with only six races left to go, the IndyCar silly season is heating up. And one of the biggest dominoes we're all waiting to fall is going to be in that of Alexander Rossi. It was announced a couple weeks ago Rossi would be departing McLaren, Arrow's team after just one season. And he is going to be the topic of today's discussion. Now, if you're not familiar with Alexander Rossi, well, he's been in IndyCar since 2016 after a short-lived F1 career and a GP2 career. He did win the Indianapolis 500 in 2016 in his first ever try with Andretti Herta Motorsport. He currently has eight wins, seven pole positions, and 30 podiums to his IndyCar career credit. However, he has not won since the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course event in 2022. But he is still quite the commodity and a very competitive driver. So where could Alexander Rossi land? Well, I don't think it's that far-fetched to think that he could land at the new IndyCar team, Prima Racing, which announced in April of 2024 that Prima would be joining the IndyCar series for 2025. In fact, a large portion of the current Formula One grid all got their starts or at one point raced with Prima Racing. Oscar Piastri, Charles Leclerc, Lance Stroll, Pierre Gasly, Valtteri Bottas, Esteban Ocon have all raced for Prima Racing in the Junior League Series. In fact, Felix Rosenquist, current IndyCar driver, has also raced for Prima Racing. So why would Prima land on Alexander Rossi? Well, Alexander Rossi has experience with GP2 or as it would be now called F2. In fact, in 2015, Alexander Rossi had his best GP2 season ever, having three wins and finishing second in the points. He also ended up racing for the Marussia F1 team in five races before landing in IndyCar in 2016. So it's not far-fetched to think that Prima, who is a European Open Wheel Series head team making the transition to IndyCar, would pick up a driver that would had made the same kind of transition. I think it would be a really good fit, and I do think Prima's going to come out swinging hard next year. So Alexander Rossi landing at Prima Racing for 2025 isn't that far-fetched. Now, Prima does plan on racing two cars next year and, in fact, is going all in on this IndyCar venture. In fact, just last week, they purchased five DW12 chassis for IndyCar two for each driver that they anticipate on having, and one that they plan on using for simulation reasons. They also plan on having a full facility set up in Indianapolis by the start of the 2025 season. So that begs the question, if Alexander Rossi did land at Prima Racing, who would be his teammate? Well, I don't think we would have to look any farther than Formula One's Logan Sargent. Now, for those familiar with Logan Sargent, you might think that's a silly pick. In 34 Formula One entries, Logan Sargent has only finished in the points one time, which was 10th, and has only garnered one championship point throughout his short-lived F1 career. However, there are rumors swirling that he is on the outs at Williams, and he has not been very competitive this year in the Formula One series or even against his own teammate, Alexander Albon. However, back in 2020, Logan Sargent raced for Prima Racing in 18 races with two wins, three pole positions, six podiums, and finished third in the points. So he has a history with Prima Racing. So tell me, what do you guys think? Will Alexander Rossi and Logan Sargent land at Prima Racing? Will Logan Sargent even get a contract extension at Williams? Or does Alexander Rossi land someplace else in the IndyCar field? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. We'll see everybody at the next round.